gentlemen, I'm Isabella Brave, and tonight's topic obviously is hecklers and heckling. You know very well I've had to experience those fellas for a while, and I've been getting a lot of letters from other people who have too. So first I'd like to address the hecklers, because I know you're out there. And oh yes, I dyed my hair. I'm still getting used to it, and I know it's <laughs> luxurious. <laughs> no, I kind of look like the before ad in a anti-frizz, you know, I like it. Anyhow, moving on. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> Hecklers. There are people who contribute, there are people who create, and people who destroy. And when you're heckling someone, if you're intending to shock someone, you're going to have to be a lot more original than you tend to be, that's for sure. Nobody likes hecklers, nobody likes heckling, it's not interesting, it's not funny, it's certainly not appreciated, and it's of no use and of no good. And it just hurts people. And I'm not sure if the intention is to hurt people, in which case you are evil. And if it's not, that's what you're doing. So it is certainly not constructive at all. The idea of, I must be honest, so here is what I think, is complete baloney. If there is information you must transmit to another, you must do it empathically, or it is worthless. And if you cannot, you are a child and your expertise is absolutely unneeded. Okay? Now, you know, I just watched this movie called Heckler by the very talented and lovely Jamie Kennedy. I met him during Horror Fest, and he's a really sweet boy. He liked my gross, gory makeup. <laughs> we caught along pretty well. It's a great film. I highly recommend it. If for nothing else, to watch Barbara Streisand during a performance have to say to a heckler in the audience to shut the front door, if you know what I mean. Priceless. Now, for those who have to experience hecklers, especially on the internet, where they are legion, but anywhere else, too, since you are one of these who create and contribute and don't destroy, I know you've heard the thick skin comments, and I know you know that as someone who's a performer or an artist, someone who's contributing in this way to the human condition and is aware of it, especially their own, you're doing what you're doing in part to make up for what you see as lacking or to fix what you see as broken, and simply not of your own self and life, but of others and what's going on in such great numbers around you, oftentimes to most if not everyone. And I appreciate what you're doing, absolutely. And you know, like I do, that your opinion is important to one person who already knows what it is, which is yourself. So you can't dream of this heckling stuff. I know, they don't get it for some reason, probably because they don't do what you do. <laughs> so being the way that you are, you are built to be sensitive. If you are someone who could entirely mimic sensitivity, you would have to be a psychotic to be able to turn it off. Let me pause for a moment before my computer cuts me off. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks, I've been having some memory issues while I'm taking a lot of this stuff on my computer and putting it somewhere else. Thank you. Essentially what I have for you, heckler victims, <laughs> is this. If you do what you must, and you do what is right, you are bulletproof. Don't bother changing, don't listen to any of that garbage, because it's garbage. Do what you must do, and do what is right, and be bulletproof for it. And I'm very proud of you, and you should be too. And that is all! So, good night to you, and... I think that's it. Um... Yeah. Till next time.